everyone and welcome back for another creative week video. This week is week 28. If you thought you missed week 26, don't worry, it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, I messed up last week and said 27 when it was 26, so we're just skipping over it like it never happened and this is week 28. So I started out my week this week um, with some watercolor. What I'm doing here is I was planning on entering a Girl with the Journals giveaway for the page anchor and you had to do a journal page um, that kind of went along with the page anchor theme. So I was, at this point I was really trying to push myself to um, do something with an anchor and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do and I don't do well when I have things in mind. Um, so I struggled a little bit, but I really, really like how it came out in the end. Right now, you just see me writing on the back of that bingo card. I am starting my journal by writing a little love note to it. <laughs> I write one at the beginning and at the end. Um, just as a kind of like, I don't know, it sets the tone for my journal of like appreciation. Um, that I can throw all my beautiful bits at it and it will hold them all for me. So... Um, it's a nice practice that I've gotten into and I really like it. Uh, there is a really exciting thing coming up later in the video, so stay tuned um, for that. But while we get through this, I just, I wanted to use this photo and, or I thought I did anyway. I knew I wanted to journal this photo and I was still struggling with the whole anchor thing. I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and to be honest, I abandoned this page that night and went into it the next morning. And I'm glad that I did it because it turned into something really meaningful for me. Which you will see unfold later. <laughs> this is me. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I just chopped the top of that off and made it into a pocket, which was the original plan. And just started sticking random papers into it. And I just like put that anchor there. I really had no idea what I was doing. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I was trying to force myself rather than letting it come naturally, which is not a good combination for me. So I put this on the front of my journal. It's a little, like, photo quote thing that I found on Instagram, and it says Facebook Barefoot 5. Apparently that's who it belongs to. Um, but it says, I'm a... Dirty mouth girls, the ones with bare feet, brilliant minds, messy hair, wild hearts, and feisty spirits, the ones who aren't afraid to speak up and who live for doing what they've been told is impossible by Brookhampton. So, I really liked that. So I put that on the cover. What I'm doing right now is this is me the next morning with a clear head. I took a stack of my uh, journals that I've completed so far this year, which amounts to seven. I can't believe it, but yes, I have complete, completed seven. Not that I have, I have a couple more in the works, obviously, but I've completed seven journals in 2017 so far. And that's really, like, special to me. Like, they're all my babies, and it's kind of like my progression of this year. Um, and my style has changed so much just in a few months, and I really am enjoying it. So I wanted to document that, and I put this anchor on the back because... To me, my journals are my anchor in a way, like, they're kind of the thing that centers me and grounds me and I take them <laughs> everywhere with me. They're like my little pets. <laughs> um, they're like an extension of myself. So that's what this page kind of became about and I did still enter the giveaway, but at this point, the giveaway doesn't even matter because I got this awesome journal page out of it in experience. So... Here I am, uh, what did I do? So I punched a hole in the top of it with my crocodile tool thing and I put like a, what are they called, brad or hole reinforcer or whatever into it and then I tied it on a string because I wanted it to be kind of like dangling off the paper clip so I could flip it over. Um, and I'm going to write a little journaling on the back. I also wrote life as you can see in my Faber-Castell pen and outlined it with my Sharpie. Um, and then I stuck that star paper in there. I don't know why. If 
but I love it. I got it from Beck in some of mail that she gave me. I absolutely love it. I'm sorry about the phone going off and my pen clicking. It's just one of those nights. <laughs> Hopefully you'll forgive me and you are continuing to watch. So anyway, I'm just journaling on the back of this card, kind of what I told you about my journals, and I'm using um, my Tisby Eco Limited Edition in the turquoise with, uh, is it Diatramentus Night Sky, I think? Not Diatramentus, Dime Night Sky? One of those. Anyway, it's a black glitter ink, and it's the bomb. So. I'm putting some glow in the dark star stickers on here and then I outlined it with a brown multi liner to make them stand out a little more. And you get to see my head in the shot. Yay! And then what did I do? I took some Tim Holtz labels and um, stuck it up there on the photo and just wrote January to September because that's what that journal stack is of thus far. And then I found a seven that I had printed off of one of Courtney Diaz's previous Patreon collage sheets and stuck that on there. Again, seven journals, the number seven. You get the idea. So, yeah. that's And then I wanted to include this in here for you guys. So, I just wanted to remind you, especially if you want to get into some more meaningful journaling, to just take a minute and slow the hell down. Just, like, take a breather. Take some time for yourself. Go out in nature. Um, or wherever you can and just walk and just slow down and take a moment to kind of it, not just appreciate the world around you, but also obviously bring your journal with you and just stream of consciousness, right? That's my favorite way to journal is stream of consciousness. A lot of people do that when they do morning pages, but I just do it anytime. Any, whatever comes out, comes out and you feel so much better after and I feel like we often forget to take time for ourselves. So that's something that I did this week. After work, I went to the beach, um, which I work right near the beach, so it made sense to do that. And I went there and just journaled on the sand. Um, it was probably one of the very last warm days that we're going to have like that here in Maine until next year, of course. So I'm really glad that I did that for myself. And I encourage you to do the same. All right. Now on to some exciting stuff. So here I was just outlining that on the cover. And then I always want giant circle journaling spots, but I can't seem to find any. And I kept hunting for them and hunting for them, trying to find someone that sold them. And then I was like, why don't I just make some? Like, hello? <laughs> so, I have made these journaling spots. I made some circles. I made some label-looking ones. They're in all different sizes. And I have scanned them and made them into a PDF that you can buy on my Etsy shop for just a little over a dollar. Um, I really want to get into my Etsy shop. I have some plans for it, but it's not ready yet. I did release this because if you're anything like me, waiting is not okay. <laughs> so right now all that's in my Etsy shop is this one printable, but there will be more things coming. And if you have anything that you, specific that you would like to see in the shop, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. I hope that you guys like them as much as I do. I've already used an entire sheet of them and had to print off more. And I plan on doing some colored ones. So I will leave that linked in the description box below for you to check out. 
This right here is a little sneak peek at the Take 5 challenge that I did. So if you didn't see that, I'm going to put a card up so you can go check that out. That was my past video. I had so much fun creating that canvas, and obviously it was part of my week, so I included it in there for you guys. One of my goals for October is to use my stamp some more. So I really, really like this wing stamp that I have from Tim Holtz, and I have a bunch of stamps that I got when I first got into journaling, like, a long time ago, and I don't ever use them, but I can't get rid of them because I love them too much. So, October, use your stamps. We in. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm about to use one of those labels, so you can see me using that. Here I'm just going through my scrap in because obviously I have to layer this photo because what else would I do with a photo besides put a bunch of paper layers behind it. So I took some acetate, I have some vellum, I have that label, did I put anything else? I put more acetate. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry I still have a cold. Apologies or allergies or something. I don't know. Um, but that does not stop me from creating. <laughs> and uh, yeah, come on. You can get the paper layer on there. So I'm just going to put that on there. I really, really like how it came out. I really like the wings. I think it looks awesome. Then I just took a tiny Tim Holtz label for the date. And I will journal about that later. I really wanted to use this Born on the Beach sticker and I couldn't figure out where I wanted to use it. And then I stuck it on that photo and I can't get it off now. So I'm just going to have to do it. And I stuck it on that vellum for later. To just kind of chill there until I figure out what I want to do with it. I also really wanted to use the stars. Like, I love those stars so much. So much. Okay. But I didn't use them. Oh, we're already at the end of the video. I can't believe it. So, I just wanted to show you real quick. I fussy cut it out all of the labels that I created that come on the printable. So, they're super easy. I didn't like... I left a little white border around them so that they looked cool. Um... And I printed mine on sticker paper, of course, but you can just print it on regular paper if you wanted. So, yeah, don't forget, I will leave that linked in the description box below for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's very eclectic <laughs> creative week, but I think that's kind of the point of these anyway. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, so you don't miss any of my future videos because that would suck. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.